Hello and welcome again to the channel. My name's Tim, G5TM. That's my call sign, by the way, not my surname. And today we're going to look at how I put together an utter, utter, utter mad abomination of a doublet that works on 80 metres for lockdown. Welcome to the Increasingly Untidy Shed Shack. It was tidy a week ago, <laughs> it's not now. And many people would say that my mere presence in a room makes a place look untidy. But I'll leave that for another time. Right, to the nub of the matter. Let me show you the uh, wire I use for the antenna. Oh! So, uh, <laughs> where are we? Here it is. You probably can't see that very well, folks. There's a brown and a, and a blue wire in there. Twin, twin cable. So, and I got this at a, at a boot sale for, I don't know how much is in here, must be about 100 metres. And I got it for two quid, two pounds, two bucks, two dollars. And um, cut 45 feet of that, stripped both wires out, so I had two 45 metre legs. And those are the wires, so that cost me nothing. I then used scrap bits of ladder line. So you can see I got the ladder line uh, coming in. I haven't got a balance tuner, so I've got a one-to-one -one ballon, about a one meter, three foot length of, uh, of coax. It is RG58 though, so it's only scrap. I've deliberately made this out of scrap bits, right? So, no, I haven't got the expensive stuff. RG58, auto tuner, and yes, more RG58, only a short run, going down to the rig. That is it, right? That is your lot. Let me show you what I have to do with the 450 ohm as well. You're going to laugh at this. About 25 feet. Oh, I've run out. So <laughs> I got uh, these two. There we are. Wing nuts, bolts, and just basically just joined them together to complete the run. And that goes into the shed. Yay! You'll find that on plenty of manuals, won't you? Textbook stuff. Well, here she is, folks, an utter Frankenstein's monster of an antenna. Uh, look at the lead on that post. <laughs> look at it. Got the lad line going into the shed, look. Let's look at this wire first. I'm laughing as I do this. It's going down to the fence. And then it goes back along that way to about there. Hang on. <laughs> Two on, it'd be good. Back along that way to just behind the trampoline. 45 feet. So just to say it goes down. Oh, that thing going here. <laughs> Pointed the right one. Goes down. And across. And the other leg. Goes down to around that tree there. Does a bit of a ziggy zaggy thing. And up and across to about there. <laughs> An abomination, isn't it? Look at the state of it. Look at it. It's like me after 10 pints. So straight it is. And there's the lad line. Goes into the shack and I'll just show you how that's set up. But uh, there it is. An utter shambles. But it works. Lovely. I wonder if Tim can hear me. Uh, T5TM, are you transmitting this morning, Tim? Uh, M0, MTX and G5TM. Good morning, Carl. You're 5'9 for sunny West Sussex, QSR. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, I'd say about five and five here, Tim. But I think this is our first QSO, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, nice to get you in the log at long last. Um, you'd, you'd laugh if you could see this antenna, Callum. Um, I think I'll just call it the shambles, over. Shambles work. Don't worry. <laughs> Rolly and I will tell you that. <laughs> Uh, I've put up a few shambles in my day, particularly when I went on holiday and just wanted something for the day, you know. So, great. So, what is it? Well, I've made it out of uh, electrical twin leads. Uh, it's 90 feet. Uh, it's got several bends. Uh, it's up on an apex of about uh, 23 feet. It's an inverted V. And then it bends down. Most of it's only about 6 to 7 feet off the ground. Um, but it seems to do well. It's, it's, it's doing respectively for what it is, I think, girl. Well, that's all right. Um, I mean, the thing is, 23 feet on 80 meters is quite nice. You, you won't end up with a nice big bubble of RF. So um, you're coming back to a tuner. How are you running that, Tim? Well, I'm 
I've been, I, I'm not being very old school, unfortunately. I haven't got a band sooner, so I'm running the ladder line into my shed shack. Uh, one to one current balance, a very short piece of coax into a, an LDG um, Z11 Pro ATU, fully rated over 125 watts, and then uh, a very short piece of coax into the uh, ISA 7300. And I will tell you now, I'm going to confess, I am using RG58, Callum. I'm sorry, and I will go to my priest after all this is finished and it's a confession of it. Oh, that's all right. On 80 metres, you know, RG58, short run of RG58 is fine. It's those people on VHF and 10, 11 metres that run 30, 40 feet of it, and they're losing half the power. But there we are. Anyway, great to put you in the log, Tim. Thanks very much indeed for calling. Uh, G5TMM0MCX. So just a quick look at some of the contacts I've made on 80 over the last 24 hours since I've put this antenna up. Uh, the contest last night, there was quite a few contest stations around the UK, made contacts there, obviously 5-9, that's the standard report. Uh, Papa Alpha, that was uh, Netherlands, and uh, if we just scroll down a little bit, you can see there's a couple of 40 metre stations there, we'll ignore those for a minute, but made it off that doublet as well, so that's nice. And the one I'm particularly pleased about, as well as all these very nice contest stations, is this one, AM95 WARD. Pedro, and that was over in Cuta and Manila. So it's happening. So there you are, a very rough and ready look from a very rough and ready bloke <laughs> and a very rough and ready antenna. So there you go. Works well though. Uh, took part in the RSGB contest uh, last night, which is the contest in the UK, uh, which happens for about an hour and a half every so often. Every month, is it? On 80 metres. We just hold the phone with the other hand on 80 metres. And uh, that went really well. Made about 20 odd contacts. And, uh, yeah, good good reports afterwards as well when I spoke to some of the chaps that I speak to quite regularly. And um, even managed the QSO down to Kuta and Malila, I think. It's, is that how it's pronounced? That's North Africa, just by the Canary Islands somewhere, I think. Uh, it's got to be knocking on for 1,600, 1,800 miles. 5.9. Although well, he was giving 5.9 to everyone, but I got my first shout, so, you know. Um, there you go. So, moral of the story... Don't be afraid to whack up a, a crazy, stupid-looking doublet for 80 metres. If you're missing out on 80, I've got my garden, right? 30 foot by 20 foot, 10, 10 metres by, say, 7 metres. You know, it, it, it's not going to bust too many DX pileups, but uh, it's going to get me out 500 miles plus. And, um, yeah, that's all I want. So, hope that's inspired you during this lockdown period to actually have a go at putting up uh, a rough and ready doublet for 80 metres. Thanks for watching and um, hope you're staying safe. Bye-bye.